Hi folks and thanks for joining me for this week's river tutorial. What you see in the vise is a caddis nymph, so without further ado, let's get into it. The hook in the vise then is a Hanak H450 barbless hook. This one's at size 10 and it's on a medium wire. The 450, in my humble opinion, is the best jig hook out there at the moment. Um, I've coupled that with a Hanak Competition 4mm tungsten bead. Uh, it's a slotted bead with uh, the diamond facets, as you'll see as I start tying. The thread I'm going to be using today is from UTC. It's at 140 denier, and it's a black thread. First thing I want to do, really, is get plenty of wax onto the thread. And I'm going to catch in quite a large lump of thread at the bead just to stop it from moving up and down on the shank. And then I can come back getting a bed of silk all the way down the shank to approximately where a barb would be on a barbed hook. And then I can remove my rat's tail. Now, at this point, I'm going to add my body material. What am I using for my body material? Now, what you see here is an empty packet. It's from Troutline, and it's Cat Gut Bio. And this is the size small. Now, the reason there's nothing in the packet is I've actually got the cat gut in this cup. Uh, it, it started some boiling water, and it works much easier if you just soak it in water prior to using it for your fly tying. Uh, it gives a superb effect and what I want to do is I'm going to put the end in the top there and in loose turns I'm going to catch all that in. Now for the next part I want to just try and create a nice taper in the body towards the eye so bear with me and that's one of the reasons I'm using the UTC it's a nice thick thread and it doesn't take too long at all to build that taper now I've used a 4mm bead on this fly you can use different weights and if you were of a mind to you can add some adhesive lead foil or lead wraps to the body if you want even more weight but you know I'm fishing these on uh, chalk streams the flows are relatively weak so I don't ever need really much more weight than this so I've got that in place and now I can come in taking the first turn onto the shank of the hook and then in touching turns I'm going to bring that up to form my body now the thing about the cat gut is when you get it, uh, it, it does come across as a very brittle material and it is when it's dry but once it's wet it's as good as gold and not only that you get an absolutely amazing effect with it. Now it'll be difficult to see um, on the camera but with a macro photograph you can really see the effect that this um, material gives the body of the fly. It comes in different colours, and uh, but the green and there's a sort of natural one if you like, which is a it comes across as a creamy colour, which is excellent for caddis patterns. Now once I've trapped that into place, I'm going to just get a couple of turns in front of my material nip in with my scissors and remove that. Then that can go back in the packet because this is the last one I'm doing. And then I'll just tidy up that tag like so. Now I want to split my thread because I'm going to put some CDC in as you've seen. Now what the CDC does, um, you get bubbles in the fly and it just gives it that little um, lifelike look. So I've got a as you can see I've already taken off one half and all I'm going to do is come in with my clip 
get it into place, grab my scissors and just take off my second part. Now while I've been doing that, with any luck my thread has kindly unspun for me. If it hasn't, just give it a little bit of encouragement. Get your dubbing needle, come in behind, run your dubbing needle up and with UTC it will split for you no problem at all. Uh, and it do, even a blind old bat like me can uh, can split UTC. It's nice and thick. Then come on with your clip and just catch that in to place. Remove your clip. Don't worry if bits of fibre falls out. You, you don't really need as much as I've got here. And then simply spin up your bobbin. And once you're content that's spun up, I like to cover the hole in my thorax area with the CDC pull everything back, all them fibres back out the way, a couple of turns in front, like so. Now, some of these are a little long and I'm just going to come in with my scissors and remove them. To finish the fly off then, I'm using some of uh, Troutline's rainbow black dubbing and what I want to do is just get a tiny little pinch in my thumb and forefinger, you don't need much, this is just going to form a very small collar and the job will be a good one. Now down south here we're a bit antiquated we're not allowed to fish nymphs until the 1st of July, so uh, I can't wait to, to get on the river and actually get some nymph fishing done. And this will be one of the patterns that sees the first light of day. So I've just got my little collar on there, and before I come in to finish, a spot of super glue. and grab your whip finisher and the jobs are good. Obviously um, at 4mm this is going to be a point fly and it's going to get you down especially in that chalk stream real quick. Super wee fly works a treat. Thanks very much for watching, if you're a returning subscriber, thank goodness you've come back, and if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button, and I'll see you all next time.